Bonjour watcher, this is Johnny Banger 45. Yes, I'm back and one, I'm back. But this time, it's no longer about my WhatsApp kit. Yeah, no longer WhatsApp kit. All right, this time, we are talking about this very, very hot issue, guys. A very hot issue, which is about, you know what I'm going to say, yeah. Over the past, almost a week, where this, Upcoming news is happening right now. Then there is no solution. I see Not is there a solution, but I don't see any kind of initiative the government try to do right now Which is the Prime Minister of Masli where he's keep quiet right now because You know what happening right now at University of Malaya. Yeah, it's about the student activist known as Wong Yangke. Yeah, Wong Yangke. 23 year old 23 years old students which is, if I'm not mistaken, 1996, yeah, a 1996 student voiced out at the opening ceremony shouting, It is Tanah Malaysia! Yeah, it is a Tanah Malaysia, guys. It is a Tanah Malaysia. Yeah, we are standing here. I am at Malaysia right now. Of course, I'm a Malaysian people right now. Yeah, of course, I'm Malaysian people. Well, the reason why I'm doing this video right now is because after reviewing this video, I'm going to give an opinion whether I should support this party or this party. Well, either way, I'm just a neutral. I'm just a neutral. Why am I doing this sign? Yeah, I'm just this. I'm just this. Okay. So without further ado, we are going to review some videos and maybe we can find some evidence on what solution is the best possible. So let us proceed right now. Let us proceed. I'm going to sit down here right now. I'm going to sit down. This is getting real, guys. See, there are many. See, there are many videos regarding about it. So we are going to watch one by one and I will watch it. So let's see if we got something. University Malaya UM membuat laporan polis membabitkan seorang graduannya yang didakwa berkelakuan biadab ketika menerima ijazah pada sidang kelima istiadat konvokasi UM kali ke-59 semalam. UM merujuk kepada tindakan graduan kejuruteraan awam yang mengeluar dan menayangkan pelikat, tertera frasa tolak rasis dan undur visi sambil melaungkan perkataan itu serta menjerit ini tanah Malaysia sejurus menerima scroll ijazahnya. Tular sejak semalam sehingga mengundang rasa tidak puas hati orang ramai berikutan tindakan berkenaan yang mencemarkan nama baik UM. UM mengecam sekeras-kerasnya tindakan berkenaan yang jelas tidak menghormati istiadat dan mengganggu protokol serta kelancaran konvokasi. Tambah kenyataan ini adalah menjadi tanggungjawab universiti memastikan mahasiswa yang diasuh lahir sebagai individu berpengetahuan yang dapat memanfaatkan ilmu untuk menjadi insan terdidik. Sebagai sebuah universiti diiktiraf antara terbaik di dunia, UM sentiasa mendukung prinsip kebebasan bersuara. Bagaimanapun, dalam menggaras amanah untuk mendidik generasi masa depan, apa jua tindakan berlandaskan prinsip perlu dilakukan pada tempat dan cara yang betul melalui prinsip kesopanan dan kesusilaan. Istiadat ini dibuka secara rasmi oleh Tuan Ku Chancellor UM, Sultan Nazrin Shah pada sidang pertama Sabtu lalu. Well... That was some brave mood, brave move did by the the student itself. Yeah, let's watch more, shall we? Saya ingin membalaskan kenyataan yang dibuat dalam pada oleh pihak UM. Dalam statement itu, pihak UM telah cakap dia dia orang mendukung kebebasan bersuara. Tapi saya nak tanya. Adakah hak kebebasan bersuara ini hanya tertakluk kepada mereka yang sokong kamu? Tetapi bukan tertakluk kepada kita yang bantah kamu ataupun kita yang kritik kamu. Itu yang saya nak soalkan kepada pihak Universiti Malaya. Yang kedua, yang kedua kita kita dapat tahu, itu hak kebebasan suara sekarang adalah ditindas. Ditindas dan kami yang yang berani untuk mengkritik uh, pihak universiti akan uh, dihukum ke atau ditindas. Itulah hakikatnya. Dan kedua, uh, pihak Universiti Malaya dia, dia orang cakap, uh, kalau nak buat protes boleh, you buat dalam uh, uh, tempat yang sesuai atau masa yang tepat, bukanlah uh, waktu konvokasi, uh, konvokasi. Tapi saya nak tanya, adakah mereka dah uh, mengkaukan platform ini, platform yang sesuai ini? Sebab 
dulu sampai sekarang kita dah menyuarakan banyak isu pasal ke isu kenaikan yuran, isu bas, isu uh, wifi dan sebagainya. Kita juga menghantar uh, surat temu janji. Kita menghantar memorandum kepada office VC. Tapi adakah dia balas? Adakah dia balas kepada kita? Itu yang saya nak tanya kepada uh, Universiti Malaya. Manalah uh, platform yang kamu cakap sesuai yang yang sesuai yang kamu cakap yang ni? Well, that's one from the student itself. I don't know what to say, but the platform. But I don't know what is the higher position people, which is the adult people, the administrator, the UM people doing right now. I don't know why. I don't know if this really ongoing or. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> so next one, next video, please. Yeah, we have one from Sheikh Sadeh. He made a statement. See? Dalam ciapan terbaharu menerusi akaun Twitternya, Syed Sadiq berkata beliau tidak bersetuju dengan kesaan untuk menarik balik ijazah pelajar itu. Syed Sadiq berkata demikian ketika mengulas mengenai tindakan pertubuhan bukan kerajaan dikenali sebagai penggerak mahasiswa UM, PMUM yang melancarkan petisyen di media sosial bagi menuntut UM menarik balik ijazah pertama milik Yanka kerana pembuatan biadabnya beberapa hari lalu. Difahamkan hampir 90,000 individu menandatangani petisyen menuntut UM menarik balik ijazah sang muda milik Yanka susulan tindakannya. Mengulas lanjut, Syed Sadiq berkata beliau memang menghormati hak demokrasi dan kebebasan bersuara setiap rakyat Malaysia. Namun semua itu harus dipandu dengan sikap bertanggungjawab. Well, that's one from Syed Sadiq. Yeah, that is one. Well, because I read yesterday about the newspaper, he doesn't agree because he gone through the same thing like he did where your, your store get hold on because he did something or, yeah, just read. I, I don't know how to explain. Next one, please. Oh, this one is just a normal... Seramai 90,000 individu menandatangani petisyen menuntut Universiti Malaya menarik balik ijazah sarjana muda milik Wong Yan Ki. Petisyen itu digerakkan oleh pergerakan mahasiswa UM susulan tindakan biadab graduan Wong Yan Ki mengangkat plakat tertulis tolak resis dan undur visi di hadapan tetamu dan pentadbir tertinggi Universiti Malaya kelemarin. Mereka menyifatkan tindakan itu sebagai biadab, memalukan diri sendiri selain merosakkan nama universiti. Well, that's true. That's true. Hey, you, please, you. You carry not only you carry the name of your faculty, but you also carry the name of University of Malaya. How could you do this? Well, I know you are a student, but there's a time and place for the right thing, but not everything. You know what I mean. Okay, next please, next video. Banyak orang telah cakap bahawa uh, sebenarnya kenapa saya tak pilih uh, pentas yang lebih baik atau tempat yang sesuai ataupun mana-mana uh, lah atau masa yang sesuai. Tapi saya nak tanya pertama, adakah pihak universiti telah uh, memberi satu platform yang sesuai kepada saya? Sebab saya adalah, uh, saya, dulu saya juga seorang aktivis mahasiswa. Nah, kami telah protes uh, dan uh, Berbagai-bagai isu tentang mungkin pasal uh, isu kenaikan yuran, isu uh, bas, isu wifi dan lain-lain lagi, lagi. Tapi uh, kita hantar surat temu janji, kita hantar memorandum kepada office uh, VC. Walaupun, walaupun kita telah hantar banyak uh, surat ataupun memorandum, mereka tidak pernah, tidak pernah nak balas apa yang kita tuntutkan. So that, that's why you please tell me that when you say the correct place, correct occasion. So where is the correct place and correct occasion when VC himself never want to answer to the student? Sebab tu, apa kenapa saya nak buat protes ini? Senang saja. Uh, tujuan saya adalah untuk mendemokrasikan kampus ini. Kita tahu sekarang VC tidak pernah hold accountable to the students or to the academician. Dia hanya jadi seorang boneka kepada ahli-ahli politik. Prime Minister has said that it was not the right time and place. Yes. How would you respond to that? Like, like what I mentioned just now, because for the right time and right place, 
I've tried before. Not saying that I'm not using the proper, the, the so-called proper way that they mentioned just now. But uh, university is the one who doesn't want to reply on my let, demand. Let me also remind, the, uh, remind all of us, the Prime Minister was also present on the occasion. And he has done nothing up to date to actually stop all these racist demands. What he has said is he, he did not hear when uh, Prof. Uh, Zainal Kling right? yes. uh, mentioned about Malaysians are for Malays. That is what he said. I am asking him to be responsible instead of asking my client to go and find any other place or time to actually put up his, uh, his uh, point of view. At least he has some guts to say something against uh, what they have been doing. And I, and I urge the Prime Minister to have the same guts to actually stand against racism. Well, that is one. We have seen many, many, many things. Well, <sighs> proper channel, huh? proper channel. I don't know. I don't know because I do not involve in this kind of stuff because I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Next video. Susulan desakan pihak tertentu supaya ijazah sarjana muda milik Wong Yan Ki ditarik balik kerana menunjukkan pelakat tolak rasis dan undur visi. Semasa konvokasi Universiti Melaya UM baru-baru ini, Menteri Belia dan Sukan Syed Sadiq Syed Abdul Rahman tidak bersetuju sekiranya tindakan sedemikian dikenakan kepada pelajar berusia 23 tahun itu. Syed Sadiq menegaskan dalam laman Twitternya setiap individu mempunyai kebebasan untuk bersuara dan perkara itulah yang diperjuangkannya sejak dari dahulu lagi. Well, true enough. Dengan muat itu, pelbagai pihak boleh mengutuk atau mengkritik Wong Yang Ki ke atas keterlanjurannya tanpa merampas ijazah yang diusahakan selama lebih empat tahun. Syed Sadiq berkata demikian ketika mengulas mengenai tindakan pertubuhan bukan kerajaan dikenali sebagai penggerak mahasiswa Universiti Melaya PMUM yang melancarkan petisyen di media sosial bagi menuntut UM menarik balik ijazah pertama milik Yang Ki kerana perbuatan biadabnya beberapa hari lalu. Malah difahamkan hampir 90,000 individu menandatangani petisyen menuntut UM menarik balik ijazah sarjana muda milik Yang Ki susulan tindakannya. No need to cover his face lah. Everyone know his face already. What are you doing TV? What are you doing TV? Ayo. Jangan malu ngaku mati cu pucu. Saya bersama anak guam saya, Wong Yan Ke. Beliau telah pun dipanggil untuk memberi kenyataan atas laporan yang telah dibuat oleh pihak polis. Saya difahamkan lebih daripada 10 laporan telah dibuat ke atas anak guam saya. Dan hari ini kita dah beri kerjasama yang penuh untuk siasatan yang hendak dijalankan oleh pihak polis. Dan Alhamdulillah kerjasama daripada pihak polis juga amat baik. So in this case, what have they done is they have filed this case. They have investigated my client under Section 504, which is an intentional insult. So as far as I am concerned, my client is innocent of that charge because he has never uh, uttered any uh, vulgar words or never took any personal attacks against the VC. It was mere to state his stand that what the VC has done in the Congress Marwah Melayu was against the principle of unity. And that was what he did on that day. They, they should not be holding him liable under any criminal uh, proceedings because it is just a mere criticism. Okay? Uh, and I was also be made aware that the VC of the UM will also be called to give statement, okay? uh, probably in a day or two. So I'm looking forward for his statement and cooperation with the police in the near future. And another one, um, I was made to understand by my client that my, my client is stopped, was stopped today from receiving his degree certificate from the University of Malaya upon handing over his uh, convocation robe. I would like to state here that there is no any laws in this country or that governs University of Malaya to stop them from suspending my client's uh, degree, degree certificate, okay? There's only two situations where University Malaya can hold one's uh, degree. This protest does not fall under any of this category that is stated in the University and University Colleges Act. Thus, University Malaya should immediately release my client's degree certificate or not, uh, failing which we will 
not be um, hesitant to file the necessary action in the court of law to enable my client to get his degree certificate. Banyak orang telah cakap bahawa sebenarnya kenapa saya tak pilih this is the same thing. Okay. If you guys are interested in watching this full video, you can just... Yeah, there's a name there. Because this, I have watched just now. So, let's proceed with this one. Whoa! This is a long one. Uh, I don't want to about this. Let's see about this. You guys keep for a while. These are not the appropriate venues to hold protests, though he respects the graduates' freedom of expression and opposes action being taken against them. In a post published through his Instagram account last night, Said Sadiq said that convocations are, quote, a special occasion for students to celebrate their achievements while their parents look on with pride. Such a joyous and meaningful occasion should not be marred by protests. Amno's Pontian MP Ahmad Maslan today speculated that there will be renewed efforts to form a new government coalition. He said this will happen if PKR President Anwar Ibrahim fails to succeed Prime Minister Dr Mahathir Mohamad at the end of the latter's two-year tenure. Uh, jadi ini berubah-ubah uh, pandangan Perdana Menteri. Uh, jika tidak jelas tentang peralihan kuasa itu, maka cerita-cerita koalisi -cerita baru ini akan timbul kembali. Walau bagaimanapun, saya ingin mengulang. Presiden Amno telah membuat kenyataan bahawa syaratnya kalau inginkan kami hendaklah secara end block bersama PAS kami tidak mahu DAP PAS pula tidak mahu DAP dan PAN. Payah-payah paling mudah bubarkan je Parlimen. Itu pandangan saya yang yang ramai yang bersetuju. Now let's just simple word from Mazli. Eh, Mazli ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, my Mazli, my bad, my bad. Why Mazli is always in my head? I don't know. So yeah, that's all because yeah, about the Wong Kai Yen. Wow, disappointed student get outside parliament. Oh yeah, it's about the petition yesterday. Yeah, they did some congress or whatsoever. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that. So now we are going to go for the latest video. Let's watch. Universiti Malaya UM berhak mengambil tindakan sesuai termasuk menahan atau menarik balik ijazah graduan yang menunjukkan tanda protes pada sidang istiadat konvokasyen universiti itu Isnin lalu. Demikian jelas Presiden Majlis Profesor Negara Prof. Dato' Dr. Raduan Cik Ros. Penanugerahan ijazah itu adalah kuasa mutlak senat yang mana mereka mengambil semua pertimbangan termasuk hal berkaitan pematuhan peraturan universiti. Beliau berkata demikian mengulas gesaan beberapa pertubuhan bukan kerajaan termasuk penggerak mahasiswa UM yang melancarkan petisyen di media sosial bagi menuntut UM menarik balik ijazah pertama milik Wong Yan Ki kerana perbuatannya yang dianggap biadab pada majlis istiadat konvokasi universiti itu. Well, that's a good stuff. UM has the right to take back to take back his degree. Wow. Just wow. See the stated date there? Wow. Wow. Okay, let's watch the last video before we proceed. I heard that their car was getting hacked or something. Ho ho, holy shit. It is real. Bog tambah bayar. Who the heck post this? Wow.
sweating. Apa stem kementerian mengenai protes UM terhadap pelajar dan protes pelajar terhadap apa penyerang kementerian sekarang? And kita masih dalam proses untuk uh, engage. Jadi untuk bagi dalam pandangan saya, for us to solve this matter academically, uh, we need both sides to engage and not enrage. Jadi uh, kita dalam proses untuk buat sedemikian. Jadi uh, tunggulah uh, announcement kita. Okay, last question. Last question. Have you said you have a decision to resign? What's your opinion? Sorry? Have you said you have a decision to resign? What's your opinion? Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Kerana ini memang freedom untuk kebebasan untuk 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 memberi udah pandangan mereka. Okay. Jadi kita ada kata komen tu bukan dari komen. Komen yang dia dah kata tapi dia komen yang mereka yang video. Sesuatu siapa betul memang berhak untuk mengutarakan pandangan mereka. Jadi ini adalah hak dan kebebasan mereka. Okay, terima kasih semua. Terima kasih. 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 Ter dan Persatuan Pegawai Takbir dan Iktisas Universiti Malaya Pekerti menghantar memorandum sokongan kepada Naib Chancellor Universiti Malaya, Datuk Dr. Abdul Rahim Hashim. Selain menzahirkan sokongan, tindakan itu dilakukan bagi mengecam sekeras-kerasnya perbuatan tidak beradab seorang graduan universiti berkenaan semasa istiadat Convocation UM ke-59 baru-baru ini. Presiden Pekerti Nur Aisyah sama berkata pihaknya sentiasa menyokong kebebasan bersuara dalam kalangan pelajar namun ia perlu dilakukan secara diplomasi dan beretika. Menyelar tindakan yang kita anggap biadab lah oleh pelajar berkenaan dalam satu istiadat, majlis istiadat universiti. Dan yang kedua, kita nak menyatakan sokongan kita kepada Datuk Nak Chancellor. Sementara itu, bagi Presiden KKAUM pula, pihaknya bersetuju dan menyokong sekiranya pihak pengurusan mengambil sebarang tindakan terhadap graduan terbabit, memandangkan pelajar terbabit sudah mencemarkan nama dan maruah UM. Menghantar memorandum uh, pada pagi ini adalah bertujuan menyokong penuh uh, tampuk pemerintah, pemerintahan uh, Universiti Melayu Datuk WC Uh, dengan apa yang telah berlaku baru-baru ini. Jadi kami di sini uh, sepenuhnya menyokong penuh kerana apa yang berlaku yang kita lihat uh, pada sidang convocation lepas adalah satu perkara yang mencemar nama baik Universiti Melaya. Isnin lalu seorang graduan kejuruteraan UM Wong Yan Ke bertindak mengeluarkan dan mempamerkan pelakat tertera perkataan tolak rasis dan undur visi sebaik menerima segulung ijazahnya ketika berada di atas pentas sempena convocation university itu. Graduan terbabit turut melaungkan perkataan ini tanah Malaysia. Members of various Malay groups gathered to show their support for the Vice Chancellor of University Malaya in the wake of Wong Yang Ke's solo protest early this week. The gathering took place outside the university after Friday prayers. Kedua menolak segera kerasnya tindakan beberapa ahli parti politik, ahli politik dan NGO seperti DAP, Peguam Siti Kasim, NGO Suaram dan Graduan Muda yang mahukan Naib Chancellor University Malaya meletakkan jawatan. Ketiga. Kami di GPMS ingin mendesak agar Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia dan Menteri yang berhormat Dr. Mazli Malik untuk memberikan jaminan dan perlindungan kepada universiti dan naib chancellornya sepenuhnya atas prinsip kebebasan akademik. Dan akhir sekali kami di GPMS memberikan amaran kepada mana-mana individu dan NGO agar tidak kurang ajar di dalam agenda mereka dan harus menghormati kebebasan akademik institusi, institusi pengajian tinggi negara. The group also tried to enter the university's premises to submit a memorandum to the vice chancellor but was stopped by law enforcement. The memorandum was eventually received by a representative of the university. So you guys just watched the video just now, right? You guys watched the video. Yeah, I know. I must know. I must know. Well, in my opinion of this point of view, it's neither either party agree or not. Well, they just need to come to the negotiation. Well, I don't think negotiation is working at this point. Yeah, why? It's because it's also the fault of the student where he did the petition on the wrong timing and also. But at the same time, it's also the 
you know, Steam Layer fall as well. Why I say like this? Why I say like this? I'm not supporting either both of them in other ways. Yeah, because well, we don't know how their administrative stuff or whatsoever or their bureaucracy. Yeah, I know it sucks. Their bureaucracy sucks. I know, I know. Well, if this video get viral and I was going to get arrested, go ahead and do a file restraining order on me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Well, guys, I guess that's all for now. Like I said, it's either their fault or his fault. Wait, he or their fault. Yeah, that's what I'm saying right now. That's what I'm saying. I don't support either party. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. Uh, did I make a... Yes, I made a neutral. Yeah, as always, thank you for watching my video. My video are just for fun. Don't take heart, brothers and sisters. Okay, let's say the magic word. Adios, Efamosa. Oh, 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 oh,